the Real Jazz Johnson, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com. I'm here with the legendary Bernard Hopkins, uh, the executioner, a.k.a. the alien. Uh, how are you doing tonight, Bernard? I'm doing great, man, here in New York City, and uh, glad to see you. And um, looking forward to 2015. But first, as you know, there's a big fight coming up this Saturday here. And I'm looking forward to seeing that also. So first, we're watching another ageless wonder in the NBA out there. We're here at the Barclays Center. The Brooklyn Nets are playing the San Antonio Spurs. When you see Tim Duncan out there on, on the basketball court leading his team to a championship, doing what he's doing at, at, at his age, how does that make you feel? Absolutely make me feel not only, not only uh, uh, happy and, and knowing that you know, there's someone else and maybe multiple other people in around the world is doing what we are doing, and we're doing it respectfully. That's important. He's not just out there to be out there. He's a champion, you know, world champion in the NBA. That says a lot about that person and his credibility when it comes to maintaining his health, maintaining his body. Yes, we go through a lot of things when we do what we do, but when you see a guy like Tim Duncan, you see a guy in the ring of age or any other sport of age, doing the things that they do for years on a respectful level, you, you must come in that and take, if you're smart and you're young, and you take a page out of those books of athletes, and guess what? There's a great chance you will be successful in life and have longevity in what you do. I, 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 would, I would be an idiot if I didn't ask you this question. No, go ahead. Uh, you, you turn 50 next month, the big 5-0. Will you be fighting at the age of 50? I will fight at 50, but I don't know who I'm going to be fighting in and um, when actually the time. Oh, I do know actually the time. It will be late February, early March, but I will not go past uh, that. I will not go past uh, the, the number 50 because I think 50 uh, is recognized amongst life as a significant number, and numbers don't lie. And I think to be able to do something special and historic amongst other things that I've done, but not at 50, I think it will be something unique and special and also jaw-dropping. So I'm about making those things uh, uh, happen in the world, in my life, and, you know, let's see. I haven't made an announcement. This is not one, but I haven't retired either. But come January, when I turn 50, I will make those announcements on who I'm fighting because I will fight again. Look forward to seeing you back in the ring, Bernard. Okay, thank you. Thank you.